Stuart freaking Skinner, congratulations. Uh, what can you say about what this team did to get to this point? Not just this postseason, but all year. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible when you look back on it. Uh, just all the things that we had to overcome as a team. All the adversity that we had to go through to get to this point. And even in the postseason, you know, a lot of guys singly and have for sure in myself as well. And uh, just as the whole team facing adversity and those moments show you who you are and I think uh, I think just the way that we we played after that is uh, you know really shows it all but we got a lot more work to do you know and talking to a few people around this team and on this team over the course of this series a lot of people talk about how close this group is how much they trust each other what makes this a special group for you yeah it's kind of one of those untold things um, it's hard to kind of put one thing on it I think just I mean, to be honest, your first question kind of nails it down. Like when, when, a, when a team and a brotherhood goes through things that we had to go through, I think it just brings you really close, really tight as, a, as just as great friends. Um, and I think you can really see that just the way that we battle for each other every single day. So it's, uh, it's very special. And um, I'm, uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to do this with any other group. I don't know if you've seen the replays yet of Connor McDavid's sick first period goal, yeah. but it was unreal. Yeah. Uh, we know what he can do on the ice, even when he brings us magic like that. But just as a leader, what can you say about, about the way he has really grown this year? Because from the outside, it feels like he's really taken a big step forward. Yeah, he truly has. Um, you know, I've been able to see him grow for a few years here. And just as a leader, he keeps on getting better and keeps on getting better. And it's uh, it's very, very impressive to watch. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I love that question because he's a lot more than just hockey. And when you see him off the ice, the way that he is just with everybody as, as a human being yeah. um, is just incredible. And that really shows the type of character that he has. I don't know if you're allowed to take us inside the celebratory um, huddle at the end of the game, yeah. but uh, any any cool stories or moments or what, what was going on there? Like, what was that moment like? Because most of us will never experience something like that. Honestly, um, when I think back on it, it's almost deafening how incredible that moment was. It was like you don't hear anything, and it's just completely silent, and you're just going in that absolutely building, nuts. which is wild. Yeah, I mean, I think that's honestly how loud it was and how excited the whole building was. It was almost like it took all the sound out, and it was just absolutely incredible. Um, and uh, I will, uh, I won't forget that moment, and I would, uh, I would love to not forget another moment coming up here. And we, uh, again, just. A uh, ton of credit to the guys in front of me and uh, four more games that we got we to gotta win. So poetic. It was so loud. It was silent. Uh, as we say goodbye and congratulations one more time, can we, can we get a, a close-up of the hat? The hat is, is pretty nice, pretty actually. Right well, I mean, <laughs> as it should be. I mean, you just played a hell of a game. Thank you for this. Congratulations and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Appreciate it.